Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to answer the following two questions. First question is, can we run two different pumps in parallel? And the second one is, can we run two symmetrical pumps in parallel, but each at different speed? Let us answer the first question. That is, can we run two different pumps in parallel? Here I have the data of one centrifugal pump at a given flow, the given head. Then I plot the curve of this pump. Pump 1, here pump 1 is in the blue color. For a given flow, the given head. Same for pump 2. I have another pump that is different from pump 1. This is its data. And here its curve in red color. Pump 2. Now, if we want to operate pump 1 and 2 in parallel, then this, if two pumps are running in parallel, the head will be same, but the flow will be added. So, at any head, you can take the flow of each pump and add, add this flow plus this flow. Then you can make this table. And therefore, you can draw the curve of these pumps running together. Let us draw it. Pump 1 and two in parallel. And here we go. This is the green curve is the result of pumps one and two running together in parallel. Now, I have two examples for system curve. System curve example one and system curve example two. Let us plot each and see how these two pumps running together will perform in case of each of the two system curves. As you can see here, this system curve 1 in violet color intersects with the two pumps curve at this point. So to know how each pump is performing, you have to go horizontally on the same head line and see where this line from this point intersects the two curves, the red and blue one. If we go from here horizontally, almost the line intersect with the red curve, which is for pump number two at this point. So pump number two is working almost in the middle of its curve, which is great. And pump number one is working almost on this point, which is also far enough from the start of the curve, which also acceptable. And you can know how much each pump is giving flow by drawing a vertical line from this point
on the intersection of the horizontal line with each curve. You can draw a vertical line and you can know how much each pump is giving flow. Now, let us study system curve example number two. Now, in case our system curve is that in the light blue color, then the two pumps together can run. There is no issue. See, the system curve intersects with the pump's curve at this point. So, pump number one is working on this point which is in the middle of the curve which is great and pump number two is working on this point which is almost near the best efficiency point which is also great however in case you want to run pump number two alone and you have this system curve you have to know that this could not be done otherwise Pump number two will be burned out. Pump number one could be run alone in case you have this system curve because there is intersection of this curve with the system curve and the point is far enough from the end of the curve so no issue to run it alone. But pump number two could not be run alone in case we have this system curve. So we know that we can run two different pumps, each of different characteristic in parallel. There is no issue, but, but first we have to draw our system curve and see how these two pumps perform when running alone or when running together in parallel. Now let's answer the second question, which is, can we run two symmetrical pumps in parallel but each at different speed? Here I have one example also. I have pump number one at full speed, assumed 1480 RPM, and pump number three equal pump number one at 75 speed. this pump number one at full speed and this pump number three which is same characteristics of pump number one but at 75 percent rpm which is one 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 zero in order to plot the curve of this pump at 75 percent all what you have to know is the affinity law. Uh, affinity laws says that in case of constant impeller dia and the speed is variable, then flow of pump one divided by flow of pump two equals speed of impeller one divided by that of impeller two. And the head H1 by H2 equals N1 by N2 power 2 and the power P1 by P2 equals N1 by N2 power 3. So knowing the RPM of each pump and knowing the head and flow of pump 1 so we can assume flow of pump 2 then the head could be calculated and so on so we have the data to plot the curve at 75 percent 
and so on. You can do it for 50%, 25%, 80%, as you want. Pump one and the three in parallel, what we have to do is same what we did before. At a given head, the flow should be added. So at this head, the flow will be same of pump one alone. From this point and down, the flow should be that of pump one plus that of pump number three. Here I put the data. Let us draw the curve. Here we can see the curve of pump one and the three running in parallel together. I want to plot the system curve example one and the system curve example two also. As you can see, this is system curve number one, and this is system curve example two. Now, in case we have this system curve, then it's clear that we cannot run one pump at full speed and the other pump at 75% speed. Why? Because the system curve intersects the two pumps curve at this point where at this point the head is too much above that of the pump running at 75%. So this pump will run trying to give flow but could not give flow till it failed and burn out. In case our system curve is that in light blue color, then the system curves intersect with the two pumps curve at this point and at this point pump one operates at this point and pump number three operates at this point so in case we have system curve same this one the two pumps could be run one at full speed and one at 75 speed but see the efficiency here will be less compared to this point or to this point or to the best efficiency point. However, this could be done. So, as we can see from this video that the answer to these two questions is definitely yes. We can run two different pumps in parallel or two symmetrical pumps each at different speed also in parallel. But first of all, we have to know our system curve, plot it, plot the pump curves, and study it. Hope you get benefit from this video. In case you have any question, please feel free to write it down side, and I will reply.
subscribe for more videos and thank you goodbye